Just a reminder, our theme for this evening is number patterns and sequences. So get calling. Our telephone number again, 08600 627. And don't worry if you've got a question on something other than number patterns and sequences, we will also do our best to help you. We've got somebody on the line here. His name is Sitava. Hi, Sitava, how are you? Fine, thanks for you. Not too bad. Um, Sitava, I believe you've got a question for us that has to do with quadratic equations. Is that right? Yes, I do. Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do is quickly read it out for us so that the rest of our viewers can also hear it. Can you do that for us? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. A taxi driver takes 36 rands in fares with a full trip of passengers. Okay. If, if he increases his fare by one rand per passenger, he can make the same amount when carrying three fewer passengers. Okay. What will he increase the fair amount to and how many passengers did he have originally? Okay, now Sataba, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to set, set up some sort of an equation for ourselves. Now often with these questions, there's more than one correct way to do it. But what I do first is I always set up a bit of a table for myself. So I've got, let's start with the beginning. Um, in the first scenario, um, yes. How much did you say? 36 rand for a, um, for a full um, taxi of passengers? Yes, 36 okay. rand. Okay, so, so we're going to say the rands yes. for a full load is 36 bucks, okay? Yes. Right, so that's 36. Now, we don't know how many passengers he has in the taxi at this stage, all right? Yes. The way things go on our roads, it could be anywhere up to 50, right? Yes. But, but what we're going to do is we're just going to call the number of passengers. Let's do that. We'll call the number of passengers X. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Now, um, Sitsaba, if yes. it's 36 Rand for a full um, taxi of passengers and we've got X amount of passengers, how are we going to work out what does it cost for one passenger? Do you know? Yes. What are we going to do? We're going to divide 36 by X. Exactly. For our viewers out there, um, let's say um, you spend 500 Rand on shoes and yes. you want to know um, how much is one pair of shoe, then you say um, 500 divided by the price for one shoe. All right. So, yes. so basically 36 Rand um, for the whole taxi full of passengers. Oops, there goes my pen. 36 Rand for the whole taxi full of passengers divided by X. Yes. And that gives us the top of the price per passenger. Okay. Yes. Now, what we need to do, this was our first scenario. So in the beginning, there were X passengers, 36 Rand for the whole load of passengers. Now we need to use the same, um, the same pattern to come up with our second set. Now, um, just read the question for me again the second time. Um, so they said 36 Rand for, for a full taxi of passengers. And then what do they say from there? If he increases his fare by one rand per passenger, yes. how, how can he make the same amount when carrying three fewer passengers? Okay, all right. Now, um, th there's, there's a couple of ways in which we can do it. We can say, all right, fine, he's still going to get 36 rand, right? Yes. But now, what is going to happen to his number of passengers where it was X before? If he is carrying three less passengers, what would it be now, Saba? Uh, X minus... Three. X minus three, absolutely. So we put that in. Yeah. And then our price per passenger will yeah. now be 36 divided by X minus X three. X minus three. Okay. Now, this part of the sum is very important because firstly, it, it, it shows the, peop the person marking your paper that you've got some sort of an idea of what's going on, that you're coming up with a plan. Already you will get some marks just for organizing your thoughts in this way. But what we have to do now, said Saba, is we've yes. got to come up with a, an equation of some sorts that we can solve. So what we're going to do now is you need to go through that information and tell me, is there anything in there that we haven't used yet? Uh, no, the, the one... The, I, one, the? If he increases his fare by one rand. Absolutely. Yes. So that yes. that is the bit of um, that is the bit of information that we haven't used yet. Now, yeah. Do you agree with me that this thirty six 
over X minus 3. Yes. That is when the price per passenger is more expensive, right? Yes. Because he's carrying less passengers, but he's still getting the same amount of money in, all right? Yes. So what I'm going to say now is I'm going to say if I take the 36 over X minus 3. Yes. That's the new price, the more expensive price. Yes. And I minus from that the old price, and that is 36 yes. over X. What is that going to be equal to? What is the price difference equal to, Satsava? Zero. No, it's, it's equal to one. Oh, minus one. one. It's, it's equal one. to one. Okay, one. So, so, so this one is more expensive minus the less expensive one equals one rand. Because yes. remember they said if he increases his fare by one rand per passenger, um, he can carry three less passengers but still um, make the same amount of money. All yes. right. Yes. Okay, now this is the hard part of the question already done. Now all we have to do is we've got to solve this quadratic equation. So we've got a quadratic equation with fractions. So what do you think we're going to do first to this equation to solve it? We're going to substitute an x. Well, we don't know what x is yet, so yes. we can't substitute in x. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of this fraction. Yes. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation through by x and x, by mi x. x minus 30. Okay, because then what's going to happen is um, if I multiply 36 over x minus 3 with x, um, x minus 30, I'm going to end up with 36x, okay, yes. minus, and then 36 and x minus 30. 30. And then I must just remember the other side is Bracket. then x and x minus 30. Yeah. Multiplied by 1, but we don't really have to write that. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to multiply out this equation. Um, 36x, um, distributive law, multiply the 36 in there, so that's minus 36x. So, and sorry, that's not 30, it's meant to be 3, Sataba. I don't know where I came up with that 30 now. Okay, yeah. so it's 36 multiplied by 3. So um, that gives me 100 and uh, that's 36x X. plus 108 Eight. equals x squared minus 3x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle everything to one side. And this is the quadratic equation that I end up with. x squared minus 3x minus 108 equal to 0. Now... Um, what, you, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to factorize it. Factors of 108 that can give us 3 in the middle. Let's see how well you know your tables. Do you know what, which factors we're going to use? It's x so minus, minus... Wait a minute. What are we going to use? We're going to use, sorry, we're going to use x plus 9 and x minus, minus. 12. Minus 12, right? 12, yes. Okay, because 9 times 12 gives me 108, and I get positive 9x in the middle and negative 12x. So then I get two answers, and that is x is... X is it, yeah. it equals to minus 9. Okay, and x is equal to 12. 12. Right. Now, Saba, it's very important that we look at our answers at this stage, and we, we look at um, whether it's realistic. Now, x stands for the amount of passengers that we have. Okay, now, does it seem realistic to you that we could have negative nine passengers? Yes. Negative nine. Can you? No, no, you can't have. You can't negative. have a negative yes, amount of you passengers. You can't have a negative amount. Okay, so so x is going to be twelve. 12 all right. 12. Then we just need to go back to our original question and yes. and and put it back in context. Um, and if we look um, at our table that we started with, let me just get there for us quickly. If we look at the table that we started with, and um, the number of passengers in the beginning was then x, so that would have been 12. Yes. And then in the beginning, he, he, his price per passenger was 36 divided by x, so his price per passenger was 36 divided by 12, which is 3. Yes. And then later on, he's carrying three less passengers, so yes. then it is 12 minus 3, yes. which is 9. And... Yeah, his price per passenger is then 36 divided by 9, which is 4. And do you see, that does make sense. Yes. Three less passengers and one rand more for the taxi ride, okay? Yes. So, Tsaba, thank you very much for doing this question with us. It sounds to me like you actually understand the work very well, but thank you very much for sharing the question with the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs>